There was a time in Jesus' life where a young man came running to him, like literally passion, energy, excitement, uh, just waiting to hear what Jesus would say. The scripture says that this young man fell on his knees before Jesus. I mean, that's how excited and passionate and, and ready he was to hear from him. And the man cried out, what must I do to be saved? I mean, how, wouldn't you love, if, if, if you're in ministry, to, to have that happen to you? Like, if you're a Christian and just somebody's ready, they're, they're asking right now, what do I need to do? I'm ready. This man had the right heart. He had the right intentions. He had the right passion. He had the right energy. We don't know his name, but the scripture calls him a rich young ruler. He had everything, right? I mean, he had money, he was rich, he was young, so he still had a lot of life left, and he was a ruler, so he had authority, he had power, he, he had people under him, and here he was looking for salvation. He knew that what he had wasn't enough. He, he knew he needed more. He knew he was missing something in his life, and so he came to Jesus hoping to find it. And then Jesus gave him a pretty simple answer, straight from the Old Testament. He said, well, you, you know the law. Right? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And the man said, well, I've kept all these commands since I was young. I've grown up learning these commands. And Jesus said, then there's one thing that you lack. One thing that you lack if you want to see salvation come to you. Sell all that you have and give it to the poor, and then come and follow me. You see, salvation was Jesus. Eternal life is Jesus. Eternal love is Jesus. And so what, this, what Jesus was telling this man is, listen, sell all you have and come to me. I, I'm salvation. I'm life. I am love. And so if you really want this, if what I see coming out of you right now is true, then leave all you have, all the wealth, all the, all the, all the life that you have left and come and follow me. And the scripture says that this young man got up and walked away sad. Jesus didn't run after him. He didn't call back out and change the deal. Wait, 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 not everything. Just, okay, sell half and then you can come and follow me. You see, Jesus knew that this man had something sitting on the throne of his heart. It wasn't God, it was his wealth. I was thinking about this story just a few weeks ago during a prayer time. And I heard in my heart clearly God asking me this, Josh, what's the one thing that if I asked you to give it up, you wouldn't give it up? What's the one thing in your life that if I asked you give it up and follow me, you'd walk away sad? For this man, it was wealth, right? That's what was sitting on the throne of his heart. And for you watching, I don't know what it may be for you. It could be hundreds of different things. I'm not going to try to be the Holy Spirit and name it because when I try to be the Holy Spirit, I'm really, really bad at it, okay? You're, you're going you're, you're gonna to have to figure that out on your own. And probably right now as I'm talking, you know what it is. But I want to ask you the same question that I felt the Holy Spirit asking me just a few weeks ago. What is the one thing? What is the one thing in your life that if Jesus asked you to give it up, you'd say, no, I can't do it. What is the one thing that if you were gonna, that if Jesus said, listen, salvation is yours, everything is yours, come and follow me, what is the one thing that you couldn't give up? I want you to think about that today. It broke my heart to think about that because several things came to my mind that was holding me hostage almost, that was sitting on the throne of my heart. And Jesus is saying this, no one else deserves to be on the throne of your heart, only me. I am life, I am love, I am salvation. I will forgive you, I will set you free, I will make you new. But you've got to put me on the throne. I have to be number one. And so I want to ask you today, pray with me and think about that after this video. If Jesus were to come sit beside you right now and you asked him, what do I need to do to be saved? And he said, there's one thing you lack what would that one thing be? And together today, let's take that one thing or those three things or those five things off the throne of our hearts and allow Jesus to be the King and the Lord of our lives so that we can truly follow him and have life and have abundance and have him living and working 
through us. Let's throw off everything that's holding us back. And let's, unlike this rich man, not walk away sad, but may we lay whatever it is down at Jesus' feet and give all that we have to him. Because he is the only one who's worth it.